Welcome back to Bead Digger Blast Off as we take you through the Blitz, a play by play version of the previous week's game. The Bead Diggers last Friday night took on the Roosevelt Rough Riders at Bead Digger Stadium. Back deep for the Bead Diggers appears to be Roy Grauberger, and this one is squibbed. It is still bouncing. It'll be fielded by Chris Ely at the 18 yard line. Straight ahead, he's got a big seam across the 35 to around the 37, maybe the 38-yard line. First and 10 at the 37. Ely is in motion to the left with a back split. He'll turn around. He'll hand it off on the left side for a very, very short gain, if any. And that was Cole Bostrom for nothing. In fact, he was brought down by Nathan Wilson on second down and 10. The bead diggers at their own 37. Maltos this time will hand it off on the quick hitter to Bostrom. He's got about a yard, maybe two to the 39 yard line third down and eight and Maltos rolls to his left sets throws that's going to be overthrown Chris Ely was the intended receiver at the 39 yard line of Roosevelt and defended over there by Brandon Montoya the junior defensive back and Ely was actually covered pretty well and the bead diggers go three and out on their opening possession CJ Kukas to kick it there's a low snap he'll pick it up and he's going to have to run with a football to his left he's going to be brought down Back at the 23-yard line, a terrible snap that was one-hopped. And the tackle was made over there by Tyler Kimmett, the junior defensive back. And there's the handoff on first and 10 for the 23 on the right side. Inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line, Brad Bass makes the tackle on Taryn Martinez. And the gain is around 5 on the play to around the 18-yard line. It'll be second down and 5. And the B-Diggers running defense, rush defense, has been very good. Second down and 5 from the B-Digger 18-yard line. Montoya this time will hand it off to Ligas running left. And he nearly broke out of a tackle, but he's thrown for a loss. Back at around the 20-yard line. An outstanding play by Tyler Booth. Third and 7 from the B-Digger 20. Montoya this time, play action, rolling to his right. He's got some pressure coming, still rolling. He's flushed, breaks out of a tackle. He's to the 20-yard line, and he drives to around the 15. He's going to be short of a first down uh, before Rico Portese made contact with him. It's a gain of about five yards. Adam Ligas and Taron Martinez in the backfield. What will the Rough Riders elect to do on fourth and two from the 15? Montoya with a hard count. Has the football, hands it off to Ligas. The ball is fumbled, and I believe the beat diggers have it. It wouldn't matter anyway because they've stopped him. Rico Portese recovers the fumble right at the line of scrimmage at the 15, and once again, the beat digger defense comes up big. That looks like the Maryland eye as Maltos this time will hand it up right off the gut, right up the gut. That is Tyler Booth to around the 20-yard line before he is taken down, but it's a gain of five. Second down and five for Brush at their own 20-yard line. Again, the Maryland eye, and Maltos this time to the deep back, and that's going to be a short gain of about a yard, maybe to the 22-yard line, as driven back was Chris Ely. And Jeremiah White made the tackle. We'll call it a couple of yards. Third down. And a long three. Third down and three for Brush at their own 22-yard line. Again, out of the Maryland eye. Maltos this time will hand it off. Or will he keep it? No, he did hand it off, but very little for uh, Tyler Booth right up the gut. Boy, it's hard to see who gets the ball there. Very tight on that formation and play, but a gain of only one to the 23-yard line. It'll be fourth down and less than two to go, and the bead diggers obviously don't want to punt the ball unless it's obvious. Expect a hard count from Maltos on fourth and two from the 23. Nope, uh, we do have flags down. That might be against Brush. In fact, it was offsides, excuse me, against Roosevelt, so the bead diggers, who pulled that off quite a few times this season, have a first down via the five-yard penalty at their own 28-yard line with six and a half to go in the opening quarter. No score. First and ten for Brush. Matos with a hard count will hand it off to Grauberger across the left side with a big hole across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Gain of nearly six before he's brought down by Tyler Kim at the junior defensive back from their own 33. Matos this time to the deep back Grauberger. He spins across the 35 to the 36-yard line, picking up three yards on the play. Third and two from the 36. The handoff to Ely running to his left. He'll have a first down. As he has tackled it around the 40-yard line, maybe the 41. Nifty running by Chris Ely, who saw nothing inside and took it to the outside and picked up five on the play before he was brought down on the near sideline by Brandon Montoya. First and 10 B diggers at their own 41-yard line. No score. Maltos this time will keep the football, and he'll dive to around the 42-yard line. 
before he's brought down by Jesus Sanchez. Boy, he just kept that ball in the gut of the first back and then at the last minute took it back out, but unfortunately it was not much of a positive play yardage-wise. Maltos to the D-back Ely, and he has tripped up at the line of scrimmage before he dove actually right back to that point. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage, but he uh, was able to dive right back to around the 42-and-a-half yard line for no gain. Third down and a long eight at the 43. Maltos in the play action, back to throw over the middle of the pass. It's complete to Ely at the 45-yard line. He's tackled at the 44. It's a gain of 13 yards and a brush beat digger first down before Brandon Montoya takes him down to the turf. First and 10, and Maltos to hand it off to Grauberger, spinning to around the 43-yard line. If he even got there before about four Rough Riders were there for a gain, a short gain of two. Second down and eight, Adam Legas makes the play. This will be the 12th play of the drive upcoming, a typical brush beat digger possession. From the 43-yard line of the Rough Riders, second down and eight. This time, Maltos will keep the football option right to Ely. Tries to take it to the outside. He is clipped down for a loss of one back at the 44-yard line. A great play by Matt Hernandez, the senior defensive back. Nothing really that Maltos or Ely could do because Maltos pitched it at the last possible moment. Ely had one to beat, but he really didn't have the corner, and Hernandez closed the corner. Third down and nine from the Roosevelt 44. This is a must-win situation of the beat diggers are to remain alive in the playoff chase, and Maltos is back to pass. Pressure coming, throws off his back foot. That pass is going to be incomplete, intended for Ryan Dreitz at the 25-yard line, nowhere near him, but again, the pressure was coming. Brad Bass to the right. Actually, he's on the inside slot. Back to throw is Maltos looking left. He heaves it. That pass is complete to James. Inside the 20 to the 15 to 10. And that's a first down for the beat diggers. Not quite to the 10, but Seth James near that left sideline was able to catch it at around the 15-yard line. That's a gain of 29 yards and a big brush beat digger first down. First and 10 from the 15. Maltos will hand it off to Grauberger. He had nothing there. Running across the left side, he was brought down by one rough rider, and his name was Corey Spahn from the 15th second down. Matos play action, looking to throw, still looking, still looking, still looking, gets rid of it, throws, and that is incomplete near the left sideline from our vantage point. Third down and 10, he certainly had the time, but couldn't find a receiver. On third and 10 from the 15. Maltos is back to pass, no pressure, out to his right, the pass is caught by Grauberger, inside the 10, he spins to around the 5, he might have got the first down, he, he's right at the stick, perhaps just past it, it should be a brush, B digger first down. We're under 50 seconds to go in the opening quarter, this is a classic B digger drive in the Maryland eye on first and goal for the 5, Maltos to hand it off to Grauberger, and he is stacked up at the line of scrimmage, might have even lost a yard. Nathan Wilson makes the tackle. It'll be second and goal right there from the five. Second down and goal from the five with 12 seconds to go in the opening quarter. The backs are split. Maltos this time. Well, did he fall down? Yep, he was hit in the backfield with the football. Wasn't sure if he handed that ball off, but he is down at the nine-yard line, losing four. That's the end of the opening quarter with the score. Brush nothing, Roosevelt nothing. That's what happened in the first quarter last Friday night between the Beat Diggers and Rough Riders. We'll get you to the second quarter when we come back on Beat Digger Blast Off. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back to the Blitz on Beat Digger Blast Off. I'm John Beltran as we take you back through last Friday night's game from Beat Digger Stadium against the Roosevelt Rough Riders in second quarter action. 19th play of the drive actually coming up right now on third and goal from the nine. Matos this time back to throw, looking to his right, still looking, flushed to his right, throws over the middle, that pass is going to be tipped up incomplete or was it picked off? Let's see, I don't see the signal in the end zone whatsoever. Incomplete, fourth down and goal from the nine. The bead diggers are going for it. And Matos is back to pass, looking to his right, throwing. That pass is incomplete over the outstretched fingers of Roy Grauberger. And Roosevelt has held after a 20-play possession. Went for 76 yards, and the Bee Diggers could not get into the end zone. And they chewed up 8 minutes and 28 seconds of game time. First and 10, Roosevelt at their own 9-yard line. This will be a handoff to Ligas on the right side. He's got about a yard maybe a yard and a half the beat diggers were right in the backfield as it looked like it was Isaac Brost 
And Rico Portese, who made contact, it'll be second down and ten. And second down and nine from the ten-yard line. Brandon Montoya under center. Man in motion to the right is Sanchez, and there's a flag. It's actually Hernandez in motion to the right, but didn't really matter at this point because it will be illegal procedure against Roosevelt. You're looking at a second down and 14 situation with the ball at the five yard line the mark to make is the 19 approaching the 11 minute mark of the second no score from b digger stadium the four and two rough riders against the three and three b diggers montoya in a shotgun awaiting the snap has got the football back to pass stutter stepping to his right he'll take off with the football and he's not going to get too much probably back to the line of scrimmage outstanding play by austin nichols and uh, isaac brost as well it'll be no gain Third down and 14. Third down and 14 for Roosevelt. They're pinned back at their own five-yard line. Montoya this time is under center, and he will roll to his left. The B-Diggers with pressure. Pass over the middle is incomplete. And there's going to be pass interference. you got to be kidding me. Chris Ely made contact with the receiver. Nathan Wilson, just as the ball arrived, that is a bad, bad bad call. First and 10 for Roosevelt at their own 20 after getting a humongous break. Montoya this time will send Hernandez in motion to the right and there's the handoff and there's some lateral room to the 30 yard line and falling down at the 31 and that was let's see Damian Keene his first carry of the game and if he doesn't fall down he might still be going a gain of 10 and it's a first down for Roosevelt the Rough Riders now have it at the 30 first and 10 a receiver out to the left and Montoya remains under center and this time will pitch it left and that looks like Keen again he's got very little to the left side near that beat digger sideline at around the 32 yard line a gain of two Bruce Melendez over there along with Arturo Matos and Rico Portese second down and eight under nine minutes to go in the second quarter no score there's the handoff right up the gut to Keen and he's across the 35 to the 36 Roy Grauberger got him around the ankles and brought him down to the ground. It's a pickup of four. Third down and four for the Rough Riders at their own 36-yard line. And this time the handoff left side and driving towards that first down marker and getting it at the 41, a gain of five on the play. And that is Jeremiah White before Austin Nichols makes the play. But he found just a little seam, and it was good enough for Roosevelt to continue this drive. Montoya with a long count. This time will hand it off. Off right side, and there's a gainer across the 45 to the 47. Roy Grauberger makes the play on Jeremiah White. He should have been taken down after a gain of two, but picked up an extra four, making it a six-yard gain on Roosevelt's eighth play of the drive. From the 47, one receiver out to the right. Keen is in the backfield along with Jeremiah White, and the hand off to White, and he's got a yard, and that's it. That time the beat diggers did a good job of tackling Austin Nichols along with Tyler Booth and Arturo Maltos. Now it's third down and three, and now's the time, Dave. You don't want to duplicate what the Roosevelt defense had to do, which was endure 20 plays because Roosevelt's about to run their 10th play. Montoya this time will hand it off on the left side and driving towards that first down marker. It looked like Jeremiah White it was and I think he got it a gain of three right at the stick Maltos had penetration but not fast enough and the Rough Riders have their fourth first down of this drive first and ten for the Rough Riders at the beat digger 49 yard line with 615 to go in the second Montoya this time will hand it off on the counter running left is Damian Keen and he fumbles the football did the beat diggers fall on it Boy, their bodies flying all over the place at around the 47-yard line. The second time a Rough Rider has fumbled the football. They're unpiling the bodies at the 47, and it looks like Roosevelt retains possession. Montoya with a long count has the football. He'll throw it out on the right flat. That pass is caught at the 40-yard line inside the 40 to the 38, and that's a gain of around 9. And it's a first down as the pass is caught by Nathan Wilson. 13th play of the possession. And there is a handoff right up the gut to Keen. He's got zero. The beat diggers right there to bring him down. Isaac Brost and Tyler Booth with a penetration from the 37 of Brush. Second down and nine. This time Montoya will hand it off to Jeremiah White across the right side. But he's only got a couple of yards. Beat diggers there to meet him. A gain of two. And Tyler Booth and Isaac Brost make the tackle 
Play number 15 on this drive with under four minutes to go in the opening half. No score from Beat Digger Stadium at the 35-yard line. One receiver out to the right. That's Nathan Wilson and Montoya this time. Play action, rolling to his left. He's got time. He sets. Now pressure's coming. Now he's going to be running towards the sideline and driven out of bounds. Well, he was nearly taking down in the field of play, but Arturo Matos forced him out of bounds. And that will be either a loss or right back to the line of scrimmage, setting up a fourth down. And around seven, it'll be a no gain. And that's Nathan Wilson at around the 49, now the 50-yard line on fourth down and seven. Let's see if they do punt it. Wilson has it. He gets it off. And he kicks it towards the end zone, and it takes a bounce, and it's into the end zone. Boy, not a very good punt, considering it's only a net of 15 yards. From there, the Beat Diggers ran seven plays. Roosevelt ran three more, and the game would remain scoreless at halftime between Brush and Roosevelt. We'll take you to the second half of last Friday night's game between the Beat Diggers and Roosevelt Rough Riders after this on Beat Digger Blastoff. This is 1010 KSIR.